by the small field, but I think if Bogan Bomber gets out in front, the times he's been running, he'll be hiking along and it'll make it pretty hard to reel him in. So 145 now, Bogan Bomber, they stepped into the 150, they haven't hesitated, in they go, five runners here, first leg of the quaddy. And they are all away, green light signal through, Lua travels for the fifth event, favourite in the red. Set. Racing. Bogan Bombers missed it. He's come out of clear last. Well, there's the first surprise. And Kamagatsa won the break. The lead. Winlog Tabitha. Oh, followed by Triple Tiss working to be inside from Sienna Grand. And Bogan Bomber propping off heels at the tail of the field. He can't get past the dog at the moment. And in the meantime, Kamagatsa to the corner. Leads by six or seven. Sienna Grand, Winlog Tabitha, Triple Twist. And Bogan Bomber still last. But in the straight, Kamagatsa, once he come out, that was the end of the section. Bogan Bomber's getting going hard late. But Kamagatsa got the money from Bogan Bomber. I don't know what was doing there early. Third home in the events tied between Sienna, Grand Winlock, uh, Tabitha and Triple Twist in the time of around 26 and 8. Five yellow, the winner, Kamagatsa. Five yellow, Kamagatsa is first. He is by Bombastic Shiraz at a Corborn Whip, raced by Haley Moffat, trained by Jody Lord, gives the kennel a double. Number one, Bogan Bomber second, Neil Steins. He walked out, he couldn't get past the runner until in the straight and when he did, he motored home. And number four, Triple Twist has run third, subbing Yura, seven, four, five, one, four, and seven. 2680, so it's not flash on the clock. 687, there was the run home. Margins are three lengths in favour of the winner. Five and a quarter, second and third, three lengths by five and a quarter. Five, one, four, and seven on race five.